I've said for months now, many moons, that Andrew Tate is one of the most entertaining clowns the internet has to offer. But today, the circus finally closed. Andrew Tate and that zit that has latched himself on to Andrew Tate like a leech, Tristan, his brother, have both been arrested on human trafficking charges. The clip of Tate being escorted to the police vehicle instantly went viral, and I really love how the officers are dressed in this video because it looks like they're ready to fight the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but then it's just this goofy goober Andrew Tate. Now this isn't Tate's first rodeo with human trafficking charges, but last time he just blamed it on swatting, calling it all just fake and a hoax, and all the meat riders that attached themselves to Andrew Tate's butthole like a hemorrhoid of course wrote this off as corruption and a bunch of baloney, but now it's happening again and this one seems a lot harder to just dismiss. But you know what they say, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, well then you're just breaking out of the matrix, am I right hustlers? The Hustlers University is what Andrew Tate is most famous for. You pay $50 a month for a Discord server, which is the most pathetic thing on the planet and I think adds to the comedy of Andrew Tate and all of his fans. And in that godforsaken Discord server, it acts as like Alcoholics Anonymous where people just hype each other up and tell each other their problems with not getting laid or uh, not being financially stable while getting lectures from people that aren't even Andrew Tate on the most basic stuff imaginable. They hype themselves up as top G alpha males, but they're pissing away $50 a month to learn basic drop shipping techniques and how to do push-ups. I'm gonna let all of you in on a secret. Even the people that are very successful that like Andrew Tate are not stupid enough to be paying $50 a month for advice you can find on WikiHow. It is so embarrassing. You're, it's a scam, and you're not in on it. You're the victim, and yet you're so brainwashed you continue to swallow his whole meat for it with a smile on your face. He is preying on insecure men, and he is doing everything he can to keep you a virgin. When you're a virgin, you're a Hustlers University student. When you're a virgin, you're an Andrew Tate supporter because he's feeding you things you want to hear, and you're taking it as, you know, telling it like it is. Meanwhile, you're unhappy and still not getting laid. And he's also giving you bad financial advice because when you're making money, you'll learn that everything he's saying is fucking worthless. So he needs to keep you just broke enough to afford the $50 a month that you're wasting on his awful, awful techniques and awful advice. Andrew Tate's entire business and career relies on you being insecure and financially unstable. So obviously he doesn't actually want you to succeed. You're just paying money for hopium. Snap out of it. You leaving Hustlers University is you leaving the Matrix, goddammit. Just think about all the money you'll save not paying for that shit. You could afford a gym membership, then you could access free information for workouts online that'll actually give you results. You can get big and strong like me. This is very long-winded, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked because we're talking about Andrew Tate and it's such a wacky situation, I couldn't help but throw all this in here. But yeah, Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, they've been arrested on human trafficking charges following an investigation that's been ongoing for quite some time. And the way that they actually apprehended him is extremely silly. It all ties back to a Twitter argument he had with a teenage girl. I'm sure you've all seen it, it was very public. He made this statement to Greta Thunberg about the emissions and his supercars and all that, and then she responded with a dunk on him that went viral. It's one of the top 25 most liked posts on all of Twitter right now. It's got about 3 million likes and counting, basically just saying he has small dick energy in response to what he said to her. And this sent him into meltdown mode. He very clearly got a bit hurt by this response. And one of his like immediate tweets after this was talking about having sex with her, where some fucking lunatic on there is like, Andrew Tate and Greta need to fuck already. And he just responded saying she isn't ready, which is super creepy and weird, just actual degenerate shit here. And when I first read this, I thought this was just full mask off pedophilia. I didn't realize Greta Thunberg was 19. I thought she was still like 16 or something. So when I read this conversation, I thought they were just openly talking about fucking kids. Like I, I had lost my marbles for a second. I had to Google to make sure that these weren't just two people admitting to being pedophiles. But yeah, it turns out that she is 19, but that doesn't make it any less awful to say shit like this. But all of this stress of being dunked on in such a big way was clearly very taxing on the smooth brain of Tate. So he then made a response video. And it's a very cringe response video. I actually think they should have slapped on an additional charge for cringe. 
He should have been hit with human trafficking and overwhelming plus ultra fucking turbo cringe because this response video was abominable. Anyway, he made this video, posted it out there, big smile on his face, super excited. I'm gonna get the last laugh. You don't dunk on me. I come in here and I, I fucking dunk on you. But then, a nude slam and jammer entered into the equation. The Romanian authorities. You see, in this video, he made a mistake. He included a pizza box from a Romanian pizza place which let the authorities know that he was still in the country. So, after realizing that, they tracked him down and arrested him today. The authorities gathered all the evidence they needed, and because Andrew Tate couldn't fight the urge to publicly argue with a teenage girl on Twitter, they got him and his brother. It's almost poetic in a sense. He got finally taken down because he just absolutely couldn't fight his own ego. It's a guy who gets a lot of credit for being smart despite being an absolute fucking buffoon. Like a legitimate goddamn troglodyte. He made this emotionally charged, absolutely pathetic response video to try and look cool once again for his audience. And in doing so, he led the authorities right to him and his brother, who had been, I guess, evading them for quite some time. Pretty wild situation, honestly. He begged, he whined, cried through a tantrum, demanding he get his Twitter account back, and that ended up being the thing that put the final nail in his coffin here, it seems. Now, of course, we'll have to wait and see what happens with the, the charges and where this goes from here, but I think it's a little hard to explain away two instances of human trafficking with Andrew Tate here and raids on his property. That's not just a common occurrence. That's not something that just happens like a whoops-a-daisy. I guess it wasn't human trafficking. We made a mistake here. We got wires crossed. He's actually completely innocent. That's not something super normal. Of course, mistakes do happen when it comes to law enforcement, but human trafficking is one that doesn't pop up all that often. And I know a lot of people like to say it's just because Andrew Tate was so powerful and telling it like it is. He was revealing the truth and breaking out of the Matrix. What the fuck are you talking about, you goddamn idiot? All he was saying is like, Oh, you need to treat women this way, and they're going to treat you this way, and you'll get pussy this way. And you need to do this kind of dropshipping in order to make this kind of money. Like, that's not exactly something that the government's going to have a huge issue with. Them, him feeding you bad information on getting pussy, and bad information on making money. Like, he's not revealing any kind of crazy secrets that the government would try and come after him for. He's just an internet asshole. He's just a troll who found a way to milk money out of insecure dudes. That's not something that the, the big eye in the sky, you know, the man behind the curtain is going to come after him for to silence him with false charges. This isn't some giant espionage movie. It's all pretty simple to follow stuff. Like if you stop to think about it for a couple of seconds, it just doesn't make any sense why they would come after him if there's no real charges or any like real stuff, shady stuff going on. But yeah, the human trafficking charges are extremely concerning now. It's some very serious shit, and I've already seen some extremely hard cope from Andrew Tate's fans saying that human trafficking is not even a big deal anyway. Like, it's blown way out of proportion, or, you know, it's not a real issue, which is super alarming to read. Like, goddamn, to think human trafficking is not a big deal is mind-blowing. Very brain-dead stuff. But again... We'll have to wait and see what happens now going forward since he's been arrested. We'll see what comes from it. But I still find it to be a wacky situation. And, you know, it's a little odd that it's happened twice now. So, yeah, pretty pretty crazy stuff that I thought was important to talk about. And uh, that's about it. See ya.